If you own an alpaca woolen garment, one of the most important things that you need to know about it is how to properly dry it. While this might sound super obvious, there's actually a lot of things you can do wrong when drying an alpaca woolen garment. Luckily, I'm gonna tell you right now how to prevent those. Let's say your alpaca woolen garment got wet because of some light rain. In most cases, you're gonna be able to just wipe off the raindrops and then you can just let it sit until it is completely dry. If the water doesn't get absorbed into the fabric, it will save you a lot of drying time. In the case of heavy rain, you're going to have to do a little bit more work. So first of all, you can still wipe off those uh, drops that are on the surface of the garment. But by the time you're at home after a heavy shower, your garment probably will have absorbed some of the water already. So we're going to need to dry it a bit more properly. The best way to do is, is by simply putting it on a towel and the towel will absorb the rain that has been absorbed in the fiber. It is important to do this with the garment laying flat. So put the towel underneath and then put the garment on top of it. And this should help a lot. A third way your garment can get wet is after steaming. While it isn't really wet, uh, it will probably feel a little damp. So when this happens, um, after steaming, all you gotta do is just let it sit for maybe five minutes or depending on how damp it actually is. And this will Make sure that it is really, really dry before you store it. Now, the fourth situation that can make an opaque woolen garment wet is when you wash it. So in this case, it's gonna be soaked. And of course, this also goes if you've been in a really bad storm or something. Um, but generally, when you wash an opaque woolen garment, it will be the wettest it will ever get, or unless you go swimming with it. But I don't know if that's really what you wanna use in alpaca woolen scarf for. Now, in this case, it's really important that you squeeze out the excess water first. So you can do this by simply grabbing the garment, uh, hold it like tightly. Don't just like grab it at one corner or something or uh, one little vulnerable piece of the garment because it can actually really lose its shape this way. So what you want to do is grab the garment and hold it firmly, squeeze out the um, water and then kind of rotate it until you've squeezed out as much water as possible. What you don't want to do is wring it or twist it or aggressively shake it because <laughs> that will uh, potentially ruin your garment. There is one super specific thing that you can do to get stronger and uh, to train this movement and that is by hitting the like button. By hitting the like button you will train the exact movement that you will need to do when you are holding up an alpaca woolen garment. So do this now and you will notice that it will be instantly so much easier to hold your alpaca woolen garment and make sure that you hold it tightly. Now, here's some secret tips that will help you uh, prevent ruining your garment and that will make sure that every alpaca woolen product you have will stay nice and dry. One thing you should never do when it comes to drying alpaca woolen garments is hanging it. Well, it might be very tempting to put it on a coat hanger or hang it on a hook or somewhere. If you hang a wet alpaca woolen garment, you risk ruining it completely. Alpaca wool can absorb up to 30% of its body weight, which means that it can absorb a huge amount of water. And when you're washing an alpaca woolen garment, you will totally notice this as an alpaca woolen garment gets really, really heavy. So. When you are drying an alpaca woolen garment, or when you have an alpaca woolen garment that is wet, do not hang it, not on a hook, not on a coat hanger, because the weight with the water will go down and it will pull it down and it will completely make it lose its shape. You also wanna avoid hanging alpaca woolen garments with other clothes. If a garment is damp or wet, it uh, can potentially cause mold, and if it's not on the alpaca woolen garment, then it might cause mold or mildew on other garments. So don't do this and you will save yourself a lot of trouble because removing mold is no fun. If you can't hang an alpaca woolen garment, then what should you do with it? Well, the best way to dry an alpaca woolen garment is by simply laying it flat. This can either be on the table with a towel underneath, towel, bleh. this can either be on a table with a towel underneath it or on a drying rack like mine. And Wherever it is, make sure that it is flat and put in its original shape. Next ninja tip. Maintaining the shape of an alpaca woolen garment is incredibly important because um, when it gets wet, it expands. And when it dries up, it comes back into shape again. But what if it isn't put in its original shape? Then it won't be able to do that. So you want to be careful. You want to make sure that you always put an alpaca woolen garment to dry in its original shape. 
Then first you want to take another towel, a dry and clean one, and put the garment on top of that one. And then you can roll the garment with the towel around it, like sushi almost, uh, without stretching it. And that way you can squeeze out even more of the water. This is one of the better tricks that I know. And you will feel instantly that the weight of the water, that the weight of the garment will have been removed from it. And instead it will go to the towel. Make sure that once most of the water has been absorbed and you can feel that the garment has its natural weight back, uh, that you remove the towel. The towel obviously will absorb all the water. And then once it has done that, the towel will be wet and it won't let the alpaca woolen garment dry. So ideally you want to dry an alpaca woolen garment just surrounded by air. And actually I found out that there, is, uh, that there are special mesh uh, screens that you can use to dry garments like alpaca wool that need to be um, supported and at the same time have access to fresh air. So those are really awesome and I definitely recommend looking into that if you want to dry your alpaca woolen garment faster. You might have been wondering this entire video, why don't you just put alpaca wool in a washing machine? Nope, that's the wrong machine. You might have been wondering this entire video, why you can't just put alpaca wool in a dryer? Well, let me tell you. Friction, heat, and water are the three worst enemies of alpaca wool. As, at least together. One by one, alpaca wool can handle itself. But when the three of those are combined, alpaca wool is in trouble. So, what happens in a dryer? There is a wet garment, there is friction, and then there is heat. Doesn't go well. It will cause your alpaca woolen garment to filt or to shrink or worse, both of them. So never put an alpaca woolen garment in a dryer. You also want to make sure that you never put an alpaca woolen garment on a heater. A heater is a direct source of heat and it is way too hot for an alpaca woolen garment. So when an alpaca woolen garment is exposed to the heat of a heater, the fiber can become very brittle and it gets damaged easily and that means that there is a lot of like loose hairs jumping around and it can potentially start to shed or to pale or to felt again and it's just you want to avoid that. You also don't want to put an opaque woolen garment out in the sun. If you're considering placing the drying rack in front of the window you got to be really careful that there is no direct sun shining on the garment. If you can't put an opaque woolen garment outside though that is obviously a very nice environment for the garment to dry but make sure that it is not placed right in the sun um, but somewhere in the shade or maybe when there is no sun around. Drying an alpaca woolen garment can take anywhere between a couple of hours to 72 hours. I have seen garments that took a long time to dry and it really depends on the atmosphere that the garment is drying in, the yarn that is used and the thickness of it, and even the knitting pattern. Of course it matters how wet it is and uh, it really matters how patient you are and how well you get to squeeze the water out before you put it to dry. However long it takes for your garment to dry, please be patient because you can really ruin a garment by drying it the wrong way. And alpaca woolen garments are supposed to last really, really long. And with the special care um, and with the right treatment, it will do so too. And you can enjoy your garment for years and years and years to come. Now, I hope you have lots of warm and snug and fluffy moments with your alpaca woolen garment. And I want to thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you in the next one.